hello everyone welcome back so the topic that we are going to talk about in today's video it is known as ankylosed deciduous teeth so this ankylosed deciduous teeth it is also known as submerged tooth now submerged in layman's term what we know is when something is below the level of water now what do you mean by ankylosis so ankylosis in medical terms it means stiffness or there is fusion or fixation of two hard structures now in this ankylosed deciduous teeth so there is the fusion of the alveolar process of the bone so the alveolar bone it gets fused with the tooth and that is the reason it is known as ankylosed tooth so it is a pathological disease where you will see the fusion of the alveolar bone with the tooth and this is the most common cause for the impacted tooth the most commonly seen deciduous teeth which is ankylosed it is the mandibular second molar now why it is known as submerged tooth now as we have said the most commonly seen submerged tooth is the mandibular second molar now in this you will see so this is the deciduous mandibular second molar which is submerged or which is ankylosed now when your permanent adjacent tooth so over here in this case your molar is going to get erupted on the next side your premolar is going to get erupted so when your permanent tooth or teeth they are getting erupted so in that case your ankylosed teeth it will be appear as it has the appearance of a submerged tooth why because in this picture you can see it is below the level of occlusion so your level of occlusion is over here but now your submerged tooth it is as it is fused with the bone it is obviously going to be below the level of occlusion and because of that it is known as submerged tooth now the like mechanism how it works is why now there will be continuous growth of the alveolar process so your alveolar bone is continuously going to grow as you are growing and the crown height you will see the difference between the crown height so the permanent tooth it has a larger crown height when you are comparing it with the primary tooth's crown height and that's the reason the line of occlusion is going to get changed which is going to give you that submerged appearance and the position is not going to change what are the causes for this so the causes can be when there is some trauma to the patient because of that your like deciduous teeth it gets submerged or it gets fused with the alveolar bone if there's some infection due to which your deciduous teeth it is not going to fall off or it is not going to exfoliate because of that it is retained in the oral cavity if there is some genetic reason or if the local local metabolism is disturbed so because of that also your like deciduous mandibular molar it is not going to fall and it will be retained or it will be fused with the alveolar bone now how are you going to diagnose it so in the diagnosis part first you will see it clinically so clinically now as we have said that now your tooth it is like fused with the bone so because of that there is no mobility it is going to get stiffer now when you are going to do percussion test so in percussion when you are hitting the tooth so when you are hitting the tooth with the instrument you are going to listen to that solid sound why because now again it is fused with the bone so because of that it will give the solid sound like you are hitting something too strong or hard whereas in the normal scenarios when you are hitting the normal tooth when it is not ankylosed so in that case you will see the normal tooth it has a dull cushion sound whereas the ankylosed it is going to give you a solid sound then the next like diagnostic aid will be radiographically now radiographically variable degree of root resorption will be seen in this case now you will see this is your ankylosed deciduous second molar over here the permanent molar is erupted over here the permanent premolar is erupted whereas this molar that is your deciduous molar it is ankylosed with the bone over here also now you can see the line of occlusion is very different when you are considering it because of that it is giving the appearance of some merged tooth so in this case root resorption is seen and it gets ankylosed with the bone because of that it is going to get prevented with the exfoliation and because of that only now if your teeth is not going to fall your permanent teeth is not going to get replaced into it so this is what exactly you see radiographically and the most important thing that you see radiographically is there is the partial absence of pdl ligament and there are like areas of apparent blending between these so it it will be seen like where the tooth and the bone they are blended together and that's the reason it is 
known as tooth locked in the bones your tooth it is locked in the bone this is your normal tooth where you have this enamel dentin pulp and over here you have this pedial ligament this is your pedial ligament and then the bone but now in the case of ankylosed teeth you'll see the pedial ligament is lost so it is like a direct contact of the bone and the tooth that's the reason you'll see there is the fusion of the bone with the tooth so the treatment for this is surgical removal of that particular tooth so this was all about the ankylosed deciduous teeth i hope you found this video helpful and if you did then please like comment share and do subscribe to my channel thank you so much